Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels and to another Budget RC episode. About a month ago, I was at the New Hampshire Flying Tigers RC Swap Meet in Derry, New Hampshire. And among other airplanes, I picked up this Multiplex Funman trainer style airplane, high wing, for $20. Can you believe it? And Multiplex is an excellent, excellent brand. It is a German brand, it's very high quality. And the good thing is I didn't even have to build this because the person purchased it as a kit and built the whole thing. And the, you know, the manual has a really great instructions and all everything just like diagrams. It's amazing that I could get something like this almost in brand new condition, never flown before for $20. This is the cheapest way of getting started in RC hobby or growing your fleet going to swap meets, going to these kind of flea markets. The only thing they had was this uh, wing has a little bit of damage, probably shelf damage, and that's it. And I'm planning to set it up today. It came as a PNP or plug and play configuration. Everything installed, the servos, except, you know, I need to install receiver. I have here a Spectrum DSM to AR600 six channel receiver. This is a very good high quality airplane, so I'm going to use a high quality reliable receiver for it. And I'm going to bind it to my Radio Master TX16S OpenTX transmitter. In the manual, it says that the battery this should be used on this one is a 3 cell uh, 950 milliamp hour battery. So I have a 1000 milliamp hour battery, but I'm going to go ahead and make it a little heavier by using 1.3 amp hour or 1300 milliamp hour battery with this XT60 connector. I just have to replace the connector that came with this multiplex speed control. I don't know what this is. I have never, this is the first time I'm seeing this, a special connector. And I'm going to just replace that with an XT60 connector. And then install and set up the receiver and be ready to go. By the way, this plane gives you the option to cut out the ailerons and make it make it four channels but I'm planning to fly it with it as a three channel airplane with rudder control because this has plenty of dihedral as you can see and just keep it like that as a park flyer I don't need the ailerons on this one I can always convert in the future everything is set I replaced the battery connector to XT60 now it's connected to the 1300 milliamp hour 3 cell battery tucked all the way behind as far as I can push because of the you can see here with that black mark where the CG center of gravity is the instruction manual says it, it is supposed to be 67 millimeters from the leading edge at the fuselage of the airplane and I set it there and unfortunately it's a very nose heavy I prefer flying nose heavy to tail heavy, especially during maiden flights. However, this may be too nose heavy, so if the performance is not that good, I may end up adding a little bit of weight to the tail. And other than that, everything is working fine. Let me show you. So, as you can see, the rudder is connected. The, the ailerons are connected to the rudder. right left and the elevator is working as well three channel and the motor is working so it is ready to be made in park folks we are out in the local park the weather is a little gloomy but it is not raining and the wind died down quite a bit so i can probably take off in any direction my only concern is whether this is going to take off uh, from this uh, rough surface but we'll get to see if it does these the front wheels are quite large so it may let's uh, double check the the controls one last time all right I'm going to give up elevator and see if it's going to do the takeoff without getting the nose in nope It didn't want to take off. I am not sure if it is there is enough enough throw 
on the elevator or if it, if it is too no heavy as I mentioned. So it was rolling, it almost take off at the end, but I had full up elevator, so that's a little concerning. Let me see if I can push the battery a little farther in. Uh, it's very close to the back. I mean, it's just probably right now touching the receiver it's as far as it goes. And let's double check again. And still slightly nose heavy. I'm not sure, maybe it was the drag on the surface. So what I'm going to try to do is maybe use this walkway when no one is coming right now. doesn't have tail wheel so the control is going to be difficult you know right left control okay so let's gave all the way up elevator yeah I'm a little uh, worried about these throws it may not be enough let's see all right full up elevator Yeah, even with the up elevator, full up elevator, it's not taking off. So I have to put it uh, probably in one of the inner holes. So I need to modify it and come back. Okay, I think I fixed the issue by moving the elevator into one inner hole and also adjusting, giving slight physical up trim. And I didn't add any weight, but it should be enough. It will show itself uh, how quickly it takes off. So everything is good. I'm going to attempt to take off here. It's much smoother here. And wish me luck. All right, very gentle takeoff. Now it needs, a, I think, down trim. It's just going up. So I'm going to give. All right, I already reached maximum trim, so I cannot do anything. I have to physically, I, I think I gave too much, too much up elevator physically. So I'm always pushing a little bit of a <laughs> elevator as you can tell, but it is nice and slow. It just keeps climbing. So in order not to stall, I have to make sure to give uh, some down elevator all the time. This is going to be interesting. But I want to continue the maiden. And I'm just going to change my vantage point. A couple people came, uh, kids playing soccer. So I just don't want to be on that side when I'm landing. Yeah, so it doesn't have much throws. The reaction time is slow. You know, this is like full right and left rudder and you have seen it. The good thing is if something happens, you just let go and then it starts climbing. Just give a little bit of throttle. It flies nice and slow. I was expect expecting this to be a little faster airplane because of its weight compared to its uh, small wingspan and area, but it is flying beautifully. In this configuration with the rudder, you know, three channel, I think this will be a great trainer airplane. Doesn't have much throws, so give yourself enough room to turn and all that. But I am, I think, at around like 40% throttle and just keeps putting along. Let me do a nice and... Nice and you give throttle and it just starts climbing. Nice. And how does it glide? So I'm going to turn off the... Yeah, the glide is just gentle. I think I need to give a little bit of uh, right 
trim, right turn trim. I can reach because it has a tendency to kind of turn to left and now it is hands free almost it's still climbing but still turning all to the left maybe all there we go and let's see how it does with the stalls so this is a stall like full yeah it is just maybe dropping one wing depending but yeah, this this was a stall definitely. The nose goes down. If one of the wings is low, it's just, just going to drop that wing. And you know, last time it dropped the left wing, and now on this one, it dropped the right wing. Okay, yeah, very slow, not eventful stalls. That's good. Nothing sudden. Let's see what the full throttle does. So I have to keep pushing. And of course, because it's a rudder, you can do hammerheads. Instead of using the rudder, of course, I'm, <laughs> I mean, I'm using the right stick to do the hammerheads. Feels kind of funny. And let's see if it will do enough elevator to the loop-de-loop. -loop. So it gain a little bit of speed. Oh, easy peasy. You can also do whoa it's going crazy yeah it's can do it very easy i just need to adjust the elevator trim but other than that it is perfect let me do a couple low and slow gliding passes zero throttle now it's just gliding still maybe going a little bit to the no no it's good now and i think The person who sold me this, I think he must have programmed the brake for the for the ESC. It's gliding, see? Nice glider as well. So back on power and easy to keep it close by. I mean, look, it turns really nice. Very nice, gentle, slow turns. Perfect. It will give confidence to beginner pilots but this big of a plane I would not recommend starting by yourself find someone who knows to fly RC airplanes like at, at least an intermediate level and ask them to balance it and trim it first before trying it and I always recommend using an RC simulator first to get the muscle memory registered to your brain <laughs> and then doing a body box if you can find an experienced RC pilot who can connect their radio with your radio and take over in case there's an emergency you know that's body boxing is a great way of learning it takes the risk out of the equation very nice flying airplane i'm really impressed but i should have been expecting this because multiplex airplanes are always very nice very gentle let's bring it so gliding again let's bring it nice and easy another low pass and now I'm just going to go there and then come come in for a landing. It's gliding so good that you don't need probably much. Look at that. Just point landing. Perfect. I love it. I cannot believe I got this for $20 at a swap meet uh, RC flea market. And I already had the batteries. <laughs> so I have actually two three batteries that will fit this one and I just had to put in that AR600 spectrum receiver which I also got used 
from a person that I was buying some airplanes and he said hey I have a bag of these things that there were like three receivers I think I got it everything for $15 and there were some other parts so let's say it was $5 so for $25 and a little bit of uh, elbow grease I got it uh, flying perfect this is the way you find budget RC if you want to start or grow your fleet perfect way go to swap meets go to RC club meetings and you can get these kind of deals well folks thank you very much for watching stay safe and healthy keep those props and wheels spinning hope to see you on the next video take care bye bye